In this video, we're going to complete example three. We're going to convert the following president's table into a network diagram. So first of all, I just want to have a look and see if I'm going to get any dummy activities. And if I focus on activities E and F, I can see that both of these have a common immediate predecessor of B. They also have immediate predecessors that they do not share. They do not share activities C and D as immediate predecessors. Because of this, we know that we're going to have at least one dummy activity for this example. So let's put down our start vertex. And when we look at our president's table, you'll see that activities A, B and C do not have any immediate predecessors. So we're going to have three edges, edges A, B and C coming out from the start vertex. And we'll tick them off to show that we have drawn them. Now looking at activity D, it comes after activity A. So we need to complete activity A with a vertex and then activity D comes out from that point. So we'll tick off activity D. We're now going to move on to activity E. Activity E comes after activities B and C. So we need to make sure that both activities B and C join at the same vertex and then activity E comes out from that point and we'll tick off activity E now. Now moving on to activity F, activity F comes after activities B and D. Now this is going to cause an issue because I need edge B to join at the end of edge D. It's not going to work because edge B has already joined to a vertex that is joined to the end of edge C. Now some of you might think you can fix this with a dummy activity like so. Now because a dummy activity has a weight of zero, edge B connects directly to the end of edge D. The problem being that edge C also connects directly to the end of edge D. We only want edge B to connect here. So how are we going to fix that? Well, first of all, let's get rid of this dummy activity. And we're going to disconnect edge B from that vertex. We'll put a vertex at the end of edge B. We need to connect edge B to two different vertices, to this vertex and this vertex up here. And we connect both of them with a dummy activity. So we're going to have two dummy activities here with a weight of zero. And then we can draw activity F coming out from this point and we can tick it off. Now I want to double check this. I want to double check that activities E and F follow on from their immediate predecessors. So we'll look at activity E. Activity E follows on from activities B and C, which is what we wanted. And activity F follows on from activities B and D, which is also what we wanted. So we know that it's working now. All right, we need to finish our project. And some of you might have noticed we've actually got two edges coming out here and they're not really finishing. And that's fine. We just need to connect them to the same finish vertex to show that the project is complete. Anyway, that concludes our video on example three. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.